Alright guys, welcome back. It is the Severus Sleuth here, and today I am on my Detective Grimoire Let's Play. Or Grimoire-ish, kind of. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we are going to be continuing to explore the mysterious parts of this bog and uh, look for some more clues. What's this? Bubbles are always a good thing to check. They it always like seem the to be having the things. Recently. Maybe if I reposition them, I'll find a clue. Maybe. Okay. Um, so we've got some rocks. Let's move away the unnecessary stuff. Oh, here. Okay, I see. So we have another fingerprint right here. I recognize that footprint. I do too. It's the same as the one found at the crime scene. Okay. The rock path leading back to a... The water's clear here. I can see my reflection in it. Not bad. <laughs> Water's clear. I can see. Not bad. The rock path. The, the rock path. The water's clear. I can see. Not okay, nothing. It's like a little. It doesn't look like This right staircase here. is a tree, and this place. Okay, and then which way should we go? I can't. So. Okay, good. We chose the right way. Oh, a little house. Someone, please tell me why there's a house here. Because why not? Well, the lights are on. Maybe somebody's home. Maybe. Okay, let's go. The latch is broken on the store. Seems I can fix it with those three cogs if I just put them in the right place. Okay. Once they're on the right pins, I can move the handle at the bottom to try and open the door. Okay, let's do it. I love playing gear games. Not that I'm necessarily very good at them, but I enjoy them. Didn't quite work. Perfect. Oh. I am Okay. Amazing. Well, that was rather quick. Um, okay. So here we are in the tree house. I'm indoors. I know. It is nice a to be indoors. A little on a little bed. This is it so makes... cute. No, it's so cute. Look at our little house here. She has everything you need. She's got a little table. Looks like there's some kind of, I don't know what this is, like a bookshelf maybe. Oh, it looks like it's a furnace almost. There's like two here. She has her little drawers, some books that work as a chair. Her table. I mean, this is so cute. I love this. A little black oh, wait, oops. I'm in. There's a whole load of neat. Or should I say yarn? I just don't. I'm. The owner of this house seems to, though, I'm not sure what else there is. This is like, uh, check out that. <laughs> I'm in, there's a book. Oh, the tree, it even has little, okay, even I'll admit, that's. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. <laughs> okay. You just walked straight into my house, did you? Uh. Sorry, I would have rung the bell. Sorry, I would have rung the bell, but you don't have one. Normally, I have methods for dealing with unwanted Her hair attention. is pretty fabulous, I have to say. I can make exceptions for harmless idiots. Hey. Can you get any attention up here? Most of the time, people like to leave me alone. But I don't <laughs> think you're going to, are you? Uh, no, probably uh, not. I could make an excuse and say it's my job to ask you about last night, but... To be honest, I climbed all the way up here, and I just like being indoors. Well, if you insist on staying, I'll tell you. I'm Lady Weybridge, and I think you might be climbing up the wrong trees. <laughs> I'm Detective Grimoire, and I think I might agree with you. Alright, so what about last Your night? Your job is to ask me about what happened last night. Do you even know what happened last night? I know more than you might imagine. Oh, that sounds useful. Can you tell me? What were you doing? I was here, in my house, by myself. <laughs> mm -hmm. What else? That's it. Thanks. Just 
give me a minute to write all this down. <laughs> okay. What do you do here? Did you work for Richard Remington? I was living here before that man was even born. And I have absolutely nothing to do with him. Or his little tourist attraction. You're exaggerating. How long have you been here? Just in this treehouse? What do you <sighs> do up here? I've been here longer than anyone. Even longer than... Well, anyone. Then, I, well, I like numbers. Then you 60 want. years. Something like that. What have you been doing for that time? If you don't mind me asking. I have many reasons to be here. But I won't bore you with all the details of my life. I'm sure there's one detail worth writing down. I like to study the plants and flowers in this area. I've learned many things from them. What about this little chemistry set you've got on your table? I wouldn't call it a chemistry set. But if you bring me an object that has liquid on it, or inside it, I'll tell you what that liquid consists of. Wow. How do you do that? Chemistry. A page from Weybridge's book of pressed flowers contains information about all the flowers in the swamp and where they grow. The green and red species only grow around the side door of the museum and can't be found anywhere else. Good to know. Okay, present a profile. A fascinating old woman who lives in a wonderful treehouse. <laughs> I heard she wasn't so keen on visitors, though. You should ask someone else. Show what you doesn't. I know. I'm just, I just, I like to ask them about everyone. She probably won't know because she lives in a tree, but, you know. I have nothing good to say about that man. So I won't say any. Let's see. Okay, cool. First thing we do is put the sample of liquid into the cauldron, then tap the... Just have to match the color of that. Okay, so we're just simply mixing the colors that make green, which are yellow and blue, so blueberries and dandelion, it looks like. Got it! Now I know what that liquid consists of. I'll write it down in my notes. You can put that. There's sample two, and one of them only grows. Yeah. Just like no, to cover all you. the bases, even though it's not really necessary, because she's probably not gonna know very much about any of this stuff. No, thank you. No, thank you. This is a sixth. I know what it is. I thought you might. Very suspicious. Let's see. First, then tap. Now, are they gonna make us do this every time? Got it. Now I know. I'll write it down. Ah, that looks pretty similar to. Yeah, it does. And we have another you one. Me... Oh, okay, I guess it doesn't have liquid on it. Apparently, I think we covered everything here, and I think we've actually covered everything at all in general. So that's good. Uh, we can leave the treehouse now, and we do have some more time on this episode. So let's keep heading on. Alright, so we finally made it to the cafe. I've wanted to look here, so I'm glad. The trash, the glamorous, my favorite part of the job. Okay. They do this in Avenue Flu. Uh, Avenue Flu. And for some reason, I love moving trash out of the way. Hello. I don't know why this? in virtual video games. Just a piece of paper? It doesn't make any sense, but it's a fact. So, yeah. Or something more. I'm just gonna stop talking. These look like designs for a boggy costume. What's going on around here? Are we really talking about a swamp creature here?
costume design I found in the trash can explains what Burl's black and white photo was doing last night. Ooh, that's... The costume design I found in the trash can explains what Burl's black and white photo is showing me. My detective's intuition is kicking in. That black and white photograph, I'm not sure I'm looking at the real Boggy here. And I think these designs I found in the trash can might be the answer. I'll ask around, see if anybody knows anything about this. Oh, good idea. And I should start looking for the costume itself. If I can find that, we already have there's some pretty impressive evidence. Chapter 2 A Deadly Disguise. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> I have something for you. She's cute. She reminds already. me of Strawberry Shortcake, but like a little bit, like a creepy side to her. You know what I'm saying? Not like, not like <laughs> maniacal or anything, but just a little creepy. What key? Mm, I don't know. You could try it on any door you like. Although, I recommend you try it on the office door. Remington's office. She's so helpful. Mm -hmm. Like seriously, I love this little kid. She's like helping us out. She got us the map. Like, oh, man. If it wasn't for her, we'd be so lost. Okay, wait. I think yeah, there's nothing here. Rest. A ship. And why is there a cafe going out of the side? Because why not? Luck, I think it's part of the. Oh my goodness, guys! I have the perfect idea, but the let's keep looking around first. Water, water everywhere. Not a drop to drink. Seriously, I'm not drinking that. Rest. There's a wooden path built right into the shipwreck. The rope bridge. Do they expect Truss to climb up the Okay, so we can talk to him. But first, let me get out my... Oh, man, I forgot where to look. Clues? Lockpick. How do we use the lockpick? Like... There's a little lock. I think it's. See, like, I need to use the lockpick on this door. Or at least that's what I'm trying to do. Um. How do I use it? I don't know. Oh, man. Well, whatever. I guess we can just talk to. Ah, yes. Harper. I heard they were sending somebody over. So you're Detective Grimoire. At your service. Well, kind of. And you're a suspect, too. <laughs> of course, of course. Feel free to be as suspicious as you like. I won't be offended. You can call me Harper. How did you know my name? I can only assume I must have read about one of your many exploits. But I think you'll find this swamp to be your greatest challenge. What's so challenging? I love challenge. I eat challenge for breakfast. The swamp itself has a history that has captured many imaginations. For better or for worse. He looks My like, he's work. like gonna be like at the Look campfire. The like, dust. we're all just chilling, you know, having like a, I don't know, fun. whatever. I don't know who I'm we are, but I, apparently past, I'm there. Right? It's just, you know, me... Uh, or Grimoire and I and Harper and then Harper comes and we're just like roasting marshmallows and chilling and he's the one that's like mm, this is a sc like not tell telling the scary story but in weird that's like kind of ruins the mood and he's just like being the creepy person it's like why did we invite him anyway let's get back to the game okay never mind um how about lading yes Lady boom Bridge was living in the swamp when the swamp creature was discovered by the explorer 60 years ago. Ah, Lady Wadebridge. She was living here when Boggy was first discovered by the explorer. Okay, we got this thing. Woo, woo. All right. Anyway, I'm going to have to end today's episode here. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you guys all next time.